What happens when you ignore a narcissist? What do you think a narcissist will do if you suddenly stop giving them attention? This is the big question of the day. A no contact or grey rock policy could be what you're trying. When you disregard them, what happens? Thus, I will be referring to the potential for romantic involvement in most of my comments. However, problems in any relationship with a narcissist are possible. They may be a relative, a friend, or a parent. I will also summarize the video by discussing the commonalities between the many scenarios shown. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you found this video helpful or enjoyable. Narcissism, to review, is often characterized by a strong sense of entitlement and a high degree of arrogance. One characteristic of a narcissist is an extreme focus on one's own needs and desires. Narcissists are rude, argumentative, and quick to take offense. The need to be admired and praised by other people is an ever-present feature of narcissists. Because of this, they may feel loved and appreciated. If they feel they've been humiliated, they may resort to dishonorable behavior in order to restore their sense of self-worth. Reactions could range from light amusement to outright hostility. What happens when you stop worrying about them? To begin, if you don't look at them, narcissists also won't see you. Numerous possible explanations exist for this. The relationship between you and them is typically antagonistic. They want to beat everything about you. They can handle any job you can do better, and then some. They may be hoping for a repeat performance of the same outcome as the previous time they used the silent treatment others. They may also be trying to convince you that they don't care so that you'll give up and let them win. Second, they might try to bring back good times. It's possible that you and the narcissist's friend may reintroduce yourselves through old images. Don't forget how much fun we had together, they say. Remember how happy we were when you look at us today. Your friends and family may be curious as to what happened. You don't give much thought to the ways in which their behaviors have contributed to your misery or the ways in which they may have ruined special times for you. Exchanges of gifts, romantic gestures, and sweet words are also viable options. A new car or a world cruise can be offered as an incentive. If you start talking to them again, regardless of whether you believe what they are saying or not, they have won. Third, they might try to engage you in conversation. This could result in their reiterating your own arguments from before, when you were unable to settle them. Can we agree to be different? They would ask. Can we, in other words, make an effort toward a middle ground? Or, perhaps, could you attempt to understand things from my point of view? It's possible they'll admit you have a problem and suggest you seek medical attention. Number four, they might keep attacking you again and over again until you're completely exhausted. Narcissists could be shadowing you, for instance. They might not be hiding the fact that they are watching you either online or in person. And they might have opinions on everything you post online. To get a rise out of you, they can post something they know will touch a nerve and then ignore you if you bring it up or comment on it. They could be desperate to reclaim their supply or they could be fooled into thinking they're in a strange romantic comedy. One other possibility is that something far more dangerous is occurring. They could interpret it as your attempt to exact revenge on them. They want to make sure that they continue to exist. The fifth possibility is that they will try to get in touch with you through mutual acquaintances. They might call you to act concerned, but it would probably just be a ruse. Or they may try to ruin the network by befriending its managers. It might be weird hanging out with them if they are, though. On the other hand, they may be circulating rumors about you in an effort to smear your reputation. Making statements and taking actions that could cause conflict in your relationships. When they no longer have power over you, 
Narcissists will attempt to influence how others perceive you. That's an enormous burden to carry about all the time. Confronting them or standing up for yourself may make you feel unsafe and threatened. Whatever the case may be, narcissists would consider their interaction with you a success. It's preferable to receive some sort of attention than none at all. 6. Using an emotional appeal to persuade someone to do what they want them to do. Lots of shame and guilt tripping will be happening here. What kind of person are you? After everything I've done for you, do you really want to waste X years of your life? What do you suppose the kids think? Narcissists may attempt to exert influence over you by bringing up their own health problems, hardships, or traumatic experiences. There is no logic to the way you left them. Does that further prove what a jerk and egotist you are? If they don't receive what they want from you, they may even threaten to hurt themselves. Finally, number seven, they could become violent, aggressive, with the intent of punishing you or luring you back inside. In some cases, this may necessitate the use of slurs. Your secrets could be discovered if the narcissist's minions look into the situation. Disobeying their orders could have serious consequences. Others may be put in danger if you don't comply, they may say. There's a risk they'll turn violent and harm people or destroy property. These methods are employed to coerce victims into submission by means of fear or pain. There are then seven signature traits of a narcissist who is cut off from their usual support system. These antics are motivated solely by a desire to have their supply reinstated or to once again receive full attention. Narcissism manifests itself in many ways and one of them is an intolerance for failure. This makes them feel bad, so they often resort to making ludicrous statements in order to get what they want. However, they rarely deliver on their promises. These things are often just intermediaries on the way to the true goal. Those who hold this view often justify their own cruelty and thoughtless behavior. When a narcissist experiences rejection, they may feel helpless and hurt. To protect themselves, they could engage in reckless behavior, manipulation, or even violence and destruction. Because of their lack of empathy, they don't care about how their actions affect others. To recover their sense of power, narcissists who have been hurt emotionally may resort to severe harshness, even sadism. Narcissists are also known for their sharp recall. It's possible that this mental suffering will go on for a while. As a sort of egotism, I believe narcissism to be detrimental. More often than not, it causes total internal failure. Some examples include personal relationships, professional endeavors, local neighborhoods, and immediate family units. It is common for an organism to resort to destroying its exterior when its internal flaws can no longer be exploited. Now you know some of the ways narcissists act when they believe they are losing your interest. There could have been many more examples like this one. Feel free to share your thoughts in the space provided. The videos have sparked a lot of discussions, some of which are rather deep. This video has reached its conclusion. Subscribe to my channel if you liked the video and found the information useful. Thanks for listening until then.